guys, it's Migs here. Hope you're doing well. Today we're playing Distraint. This is an indie horror game, and it's something I've been meaning to get for a while. The dev sent me a code a long time ago, and I just got around to looking at it because they gave me a little poke to remind me they did. And I thought, hey, right, I'll check it out because I'm in the mood for some indie horrors lately. So let's see what this is. They made a game called Silence of the Sleep, which um, was fucking awesome. So hopefully this will be awesome too. I know very little about this game. My humanity was for sale, and I sold it. The very moment sent me into decay. This is my story, and these are my regrets. Oh. Excuse me, I'm looking for Mrs. Goodwin. She's not here, go away. Guess it's not this one. We appear to be a very large-headed man. Anyone home? Who's there? Mrs. Goodwin? No, she lives next to the door. Thank you, and goodbye. I'm looking for Mrs. Goodwin. Is this the right address? No. Get lost. Oh, I can swear she lives somewhere here. Yes, without a doubt. It's got to be one of these doors. It smells of rotten flesh. I don't think this is the right door. Which would mean it's the very first one. It smells of draft. Okay, so I guess it's the one that said she lives next door. This must be the right apartment because it smells of blueberry pie. Oh, I told you, she does not li live here. Madam. I know it's you. Could you please let me in? I'm sorry. C come in, please. I was just quite happy. Madam. I know. I'm so sorry I have to do this, madam. Can't you get me a little more time? I can pay the debt if you give me another week. Please. Uh, I'm sorry. I hate doing this. But I must seize this property. But... Where would I go? This is all I have. I'm sorry, madam. I'm sorry I shouldn't be crying like this. There are just so many memories here. I understand, madam. Oh, where are my manners? Would you like to have a cup of tea? I'd rather have a cup of coffee if possible. Oh, of course. Give me a second, young man. And then she stabs you in the neck with a bit of the fucking cup. Throws hot coffee in your eyes. Might as well look around while I wait. I'm more concerned that one of her neighbour's doors smelled like rotting meat, actually, now I think about it. A rocking chair. Every granny has one. There's also moths around the light, which is pretty weird. Uh, there's nothing. There's not a lot in here. A wedding photo of Mr. and Mrs. Goodwin, though I believe she's a widow now. Oh man, I shouldn't be doing this. So we're like a debt collector or a bailiff or something, or maybe the landlord? Um. Okay! I'm sorry, dear. I'm afraid I've run out of coffee. Can I get you something else instead? No, thank you, madam. Listen, you'll have to move out by the end of the month. I'm truly sorry, madam. Well, I guess I only have myself to blame. Yes, well, I need to get going, madam. Take care. Wait a second, young man. It's awfully dark out there. Take this lantern. I guess I won't be needing it anymore. Oh, thank you, madam. I'm assuming she's going to die. I really must go now. Take care. Bye-bye, dear. Okay. This place is pretty spooksy. Power seems to be on though. Weird. I just want to get away from here. Isn't that the one that smelled of rotting meat? I think it is. This is probably a very bad idea. Probably is, yeah.
The strain is not auto save your progress. To save progress, visit the save points. Okay, I saved the progress. Right. It's locked. I need a key. I turn it off there, there was a power button. Oh shit. There's a note. What comes around goes around. Fuck it. This is very disconcerting. What the hell was that? Sounds like a rhinoceros having sex with a disco ball. It's an old oven. It was probably a rhinoceros, right? It's empty. Oh shit, it's freezing in here. There's something in the bathtub. Let's see. It's cold. There, I found an ice cube. This might come in handy. Oh yeah, that good old... Uh... Uh, probably should attempt to use the item whenever interacting. Okay. Try to use the ice cube with the bathtub. I won't put it back there. You want to search or examine objects and surroundings, open your inventory and select an item, empty item slot. I need another ice cube. I don't need another ice cube. Okay. So you can just combine it. Okay. Interesting. I don't need to pee. Well, after that rhinoceros roar, I would probably need to do more than pee. Mm, was there anything actually in here? Broken oven? None of this seems relevant. Let's leave. Got myself an ice cube. Hang on, I don't think I went in that door, did I? I need a key. Huh. Okay, so we need to find a key, I guess. I wonder if there's something inside the ice cube. I'll stick it in the oven. And now we wait. Alright, let's see. I knew it. I found the key. Jesus Christ, you melt the ice. Couldn't, wouldn't just holding it in our hand have been like a, a acceptable way of dealing with that? It's definitely not where we need to go now. We go this way. And then this door is unlocked. The door has blood on the handle now, which it didn't before, I'm pretty sure. That sound again. The window is boarded. The Shining, Frankenstein, Dracula. There are lots of classic horror books. Frankenstein and Dracula certainly predate The Shining by a considerable amount. It's empty. Empty. It's a big apartment. Stock markets, economy trading. There are lots of books about money. Hooray. I guess that's a metaphor or something. Like, money is evil. I don't know. There's something here. Find us keepers. I found a horror book. I guess I need to put that back on the horror shelf. Okay, let's try that strategy out. I'm very worried I'm going to run into a giant killer rhino at any point now. Place the book here. Ah, oh, what's that? Another book popped out. A finance book. I think I know where to put this. Up my... Ah! Fuck! Fuck, I genuinely am scared right now! Fuck! Didn't need that. Okay, the book goes in there. This door wasn't here before, was it? I don't know. I don't fucking know. What the fuck is going on here? Son! Good to see you! Good to see you! Good to see you. McDade, Bruton and more. We already heard you kick that expired fart out. Job well done, son. You passed your first trial. Happy to hear that, sirs. 
Although Mrs. Goodwin seemed to be a very nice old nonsense. 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 There's no injustice in the law. You did the right thing, son. Soon you'll be one of us. One of us. One of us. McDay, Bruton, Moore, and Price. I like the sound of it. But thank you, sirs. Are you ready to make some serious money? Money! Money. Uh, I guess I am. You have only two more names to take care of. Seize their properties in the name of the law. In the name of the law. In the name of the law. And you should be granted a partnership. I will. That's the spirit, son. Off you go now. All the fucking money here. Jesus Christ. Interesting. I felt both joy and sorrow. Soon I would get my partnership, but at the price of my humanity. Would it be worth it? I'm still not quite sure what he is, but, you know, whatever. Okay, I say my progress. We've got to evict some more fuckers now. Some more sc Jesus Christ! How did that get here, that dismembered corpse? There's another note. There's an elephant in the room. I know that saying. It was an elephant. It was a fucking elephant all along. I was joking about the fucking rhino, but... Shame, what the fuck? Oh my god, it's a fucking... Vanity. Oh my god, I'm gonna get ringed by an elephant. Come on, come on. Come on! Arrogance, I know I'm bad, okay? I'm an asshole, okay? I don't know. Don't kill me, Mr. Elephant. Don't kill me, Mr. Elephant. I thought you were a rider. I didn't mean to offend you. Please don't kill me, Mr. Elephant, please. Oh my god, it's gonna go in my ear! It's gonna go in my ear! Ah, uh, it's morning already? What a day that was. I still feel horrible about Mrs. Goodwin. Oh well, I need some coffee to wake up. What the fuck is your kitchen? You've a weird shaped house. Oh, here's the coffee. La -ba -ba. Okay, I need some water for the coffee. Got the coffee pot. Yep. Where's the water? Not long anymore, and I get to move out from this dump. Okay, I guess we go to the bathroom. Maybe I'll get some water here. I want coffee! And it started raining. Are you kidding me? One of those mornings, I swear you. I swear you? I really need my caffeine. Nobody needs to know. No, I still have a little dignity left. I'd use the toilet. I'd fucking use it. I mean, okay, maybe I wouldn't. It depends how big a shit I'd had the day before. You know, that that's the important thing. Well, how are we going to get coffee if everything doesn't work, you fucker? Aha. Uh -huh. Not sure how hygienic this is, but man, gotta get his coffee. So the leak in the roof that's probably like full of like someone else's shit is fine, but your own fucking toilet is not. Put the water here. Okay, I'll watch and tell you while the coffee is brewing. Quite like this so far. Something's pretty original for sure. That's pretty good. I get it's thundering. I shouldn't risk it. What? Oh, I guess don't. What was that? I think it came from the bathroom. It's probably a fucking elephant. I can't believe there's a fucking elephant in the fucking house. I just... I had no idea. There's nothing here. It must be my imagination. The coffee should be ready by now. Oh, it's those guys. The coffee is gone. Didn't mean to do that. These fuckers again. Ha ha ha! You are right, dear. How silly that day was. Oh look there, it's our little boy. What the fuck is going on? These aren't the people, this is a mum and dad. I can see that, Hutton. Hey son, you don't mind we took some coffee already? Though it tastes a little funny. No, no, not at all. Are you alright dear? You look so pale. Aren't you supposed to be, you know, dead? Of course we are dead. What a silly thing to say. But, even though we're already gone, does it make you crazy to hear our words of wisdom? I, I suppose not. And that's exactly why we are here. So listen to us, son, and let your conscience do the talking. Sounds reasonable. We heard some, well, unpleasant things about you, dear. That is correct. We are worried about you, me and your father. 
And you're get are you getting greedy, son? It's not too late to make a change. Look, I'm not proud of all the things I've done. But look at this cranky apartment. I just want to be successful in my life. We understand, son. But at the expense of other people, think about it, son. You are better than that. I don't know. I've worked hard for this. Um, I'm looking for Mrs. Goodwin. Is this the right address? What the fuck is going on? Exactly. It's raining blood outside. I need my coffee. I also need to change out my pajamas. For fuck's sake. Right, get your coffee. There's your coffee. Or oh, someone. Jesus Christ. Well, why can't I have this coffee? There's nothing wrong with that coffee. He always eats takeaways, apparently. Sounds like, uh, me. <laughs> Alright, let's get changed. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? There's blood coming to the root. Oh my fucking god! Hold it together. Is any of my mind playing tricks on me? Yes, it must be. Okay, I better get dressed. Like, if this happened, you'd, like, call an ambulance, you know? Like, you obviously have serious fucking problems. It was rough yesterday, but I decided to carry on. Though I would lie to you if I said I didn't think of Mrs. Goodwin. Anyways, Mr. Taylor was the next name on my list. He lived in a forest as a hermit. He had no debt, but the city wanted to expropriate his property. They built a highway there. I travelled to him so I could seize his property. Of course, he lives in spooky fucking McSpookerton wood spooks. Great. We get shot by this guy. I'm not going to fucking be happy about it. You know? Really liking this so far. They're really fucking good. His cabin should be here somewhere. Is a save point here? Drop a little save. And there it is. Welcome to Evictionville. This is Price. I'm looking for Mr. Taylor. Hello? Either he's not at home or he's ignoring me. I need to talk to him. Well, the only rational thing to do is set fire to the cabin. It's a firewood stack. Are we actually going to set fire to the cabin? It's locked. Oh, is this him? Hello? You must be Mr. Taylor. I am. My name's Price. Nice to make acquaintance. Please drop the act and let me hear your threats. I know why you're here. Threats? No, no. How about reasoning? You see, the city would build a highway here. It would bring lots of new people and tourism to the city. And there's a lot of money too? Or am I mistaken? Well, that's exactly the problem with you people. Money is your king. Where's your compassion? This is my home. Sir, it's been quite a long day already. Everything is already prepared. And don't forget, we're offering you very fair compensation. And if you refuse, we'll have to expropriate your property. I guess I have no options but to bend over. There, you got me. I hope you are happy. I'm sorry, sir. Sorry, kid. I know you're just doing your work. Sir, if there's anything I could do. There is something. It's getting chilly out here. Let's talk in my cabin. Okay, yeah, take this key. I'll follow you shortly. Oh, and while you're at it, could you make a fire in the fireplace? Of course. Thank you, sir. He's gonna fucking burn the cabin down with us inside, right? Is that what he's gonna do? Or oh, fuck us in the ass. Okay, key doesn't fit there. Do you want to see? You never know. It could be some horrible bodies in there or some shit. It's the most ominous fucking pixel game I've ever played, I think. It's really well done, the atmosphere. Just ashes. I need to make a fire. Well, doesn't that mean I need to go here? It's a firewood stack. Take some firewood. Yep. Put the firewood here. Okay. To dog bed. It smells oddly horrible. Oh, what the fuck? Trash can for the papers. Crossword, search word. He seems to like puzzles. You really shouldn't be like looking around this guy's bedroom, you know. I wouldn't be surprised if he killed us. 
locked. There's something. Match is perfect. Anything else here? Oh, I've got the matches. Make sure I'm anything else. Dog food and water bowls. I'm scared about the dog. This is toilet. Lovely. Bathtub. There's quite a strong smell to it. Lovely. He probably took a shit in it. Oh, I'm back here now. Okay, it all loops around. Alright, let's loot. Let loot. Let's uh, light. Fire. Firewood is moist. I need something that ignites easily. A paper, perhaps? I guess his crossword puzzle thing? Was that in here? It was. I'm not fond of puzzles, but I, I need to, don't need to burn them. I don't know. All these things seem like things... Hang on. Will that work? No, it won't. Okay. So we need to find some kindling. And it's not his dog bed. He doesn't... Burning his dog bed is apparently bad. That was the one that's locked. I think interesting. I don't like this at all, by the way. I feel genuinely on edge throughout here. Okay. I'm back here again. What the fuck do I burn? His bedroom is the one that's locked, I guess, yeah. Burn a small child. That's the sort of thing that I would look forward to burn. If I had to have something to burn, you know? Hmm. This place isn't actually that big at all. There's got to be something to burn. Yeah, I know I need to make a fire, I just can't find anything to burn. Can we head out and find something? There's got to be some paper somewhere that I can use. Okay, so there's the papers in the trash bin that I should have grabbed before. I'll use the papers as kindling. I fucked up just by trying to ignite them in the bin the first time. I mess things up sometimes, you know? There we go. Use the papers as kindling. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm igniting. I have made fire. Oh, I see you made a good fire. Thank you. My pleasure. It's so dark in here. Yes, there's no electricity. I'm changing his voice, like, regularly. But back to the topic. See so a different line every time. My dog has gone missing. And you want me to find him? Her? Her. It was quite a mysterious disappearance. How so? Well, she was here when I went to bed last night. And as far as I'm aware, she can't open doors. And yet she was gone at the break of dawn. And she must be inside. So I thought, but I can't find her anywhere. If you find her, I'll happily sign any papers you may have. You got yourself a deal, sir. That sounds like a bad idea. I'll start my investigation. Good luck, kid. Why don't you give me the key to the room that's locked? That'd be a good start, wouldn't it? Right, there's the dog bed. Dog smells like piss and soap. Might be important. I'll ask Mr. Taylor about this. Let's check the dog bowl as well. Is it still locked? Yeah. Dog bowls were like in here, I think. Yeah. Nothing interesting here. Well, that's still part of the fucking clue. I reckon it, the dog was... Uh, maybe something horrible has happened to the dog. I don't want to, like, say it got drowned, but I think it might have got drowned. But we'll see. I noticed the dog bed smells funny. Yes, we had a little skunk accident yesterday. Oh, the smell. Anyways, we're finna get out of scrubbing the stink away. Lots of water and lots of shampoo. That explains the smell. I'm sure that helps. I'll look into it. How does that help, though? Like, I'm not sure it helps that much. I guess this is where he washed the dog. It still reeks. Okay, let me think. The dog bed already stunk that bad. I wonder how the dog would smell like. I think I could follow her scent. 
Ah. Well, you have a fucking good nose for a human being. Holy fucking shit. Um. Okay. I don't know what that was, but it didn't look good. Ha. Huh. There's a hole in this door. The dog must have gone through here. The door is locked with a combination lock. I can't follow her. I'll talk to Mr. Taylor. Mr. Taylor's could have been eaten by a giant red monster that was outside the window, probably. No, he's fine. There's a locked door in the hallway. Where does it lead? Why? Well, there's a hole in the door. I believe the dog has gone through there. Hmm, that would make sense. There's an old underground cellar behind that door. But I haven't used it in years. I could take a look, but I need a combination for the lock. Oh yes, what was it? It's so long, you see. I'm afraid I've forgotten the combination. Fucking great! But I'm no fool, so I have back up. That's great, where could I find it? See, I love puzzles of all kind. I believe I hid the combination in one of the puzzles. If I remember correctly, the word you'll need is tree. Yes, that's the word. Okay, I'll take a look. Hey kid, thanks for going through the trouble. Don't worry about it. Oh my fucking god, how the fuck can you fuck this up so fucking much? You fucking idiot. This must be the puzzle he went. The word I need is tree. Alright, let's have a look then. Well, tree is there, so it's going to be five, six, seven, eight. I mean... Well, it's not quite that, is it? It's like... C5, D6, E7, F8. I haven't got a pen. I don't, I don't actually think I own any pens anymore. Like, you know those things... Oh, no, hang on. Oh, my God. Holy shit, there's a pen in the house. There's a pen in the house. Holy fucking shit. Let me write that down. So, C5... D6, right? Yeah. E7, F8. Right. I'm sorry, Pretzel's insurance plan, but I wrote on you. So. 5, 6, 7, 8, that would be. That can't be right. Got it. Oh, okay, that was pretty easy. Because I should get ready to die horribly here. It's a washing machine. Doesn't work, there's no electricity. I don't want to go this way first. I want to go and find the dog first. I don't like the fact that this bit's even here. Oh, I can't. I have to go around. Okay, shit. Guess this is the right route after all. Little... Little chubby salesman man. I'm so fucking nervous. That was so scary with the fucking... Oh god, I don't like it. I unlocked the door. Oh, okay. I get you. Makes sense. Hammer, saw, wrench, nails. What's that? No doubt the last gasoline will come in handy. There's a hole in the wall on the floor. The dog has gone through here, no doubt about it. Okay, I guess the dog is fucking lost then, because the trail just stops. This is a really bad place to be, right? Please don't kill me, dog. What the fuck is this, the water? Yeah, it's a bridge. How come we can't smell it? I guess the air dissipates it. That's my reasoning. Shit. I hope this isn't her blood. Looks pretty bad. There's more of it there. Oh my fucking god! Well, that's a nice looking dog. Here you go! I don't have the guts to get any closer. Come, girl. Sniff this sweet gasoline. No? I need to gain a trust somehow. Well, I don't know what the fuck to do. Alright, she's eating a dead body of another animal or some shit. We should probably go and tell... I believe it's Fox's bud. Oh yeah, so she's killed the fox, that's what it is. I wish there was a sprint key. But there is not. This is a fucking... Uh 
Good little game, though. Really liking this so far. Hang on, is this just looping? No, it isn't. Good. Hmm. What does she like? Should I get her uh, food and water? Can we tell the guy that we found his dog? No, I can't even. Alright, fine. We've, we found the dog! Jesus fucking Christ. You fucking idiot! Right. That's not where I want to go. Uh, I want to go in here. Food? Well, it is interesting if there's dog food because then the dog has food, you know? Fucking moron! You're some kind of fucking idiot, huh? Whatever. Just whatever! Let's get the fuck uh, back on track. I guess we should head over there again because none of this shit is working. An old compressor. Let's see if there's still some juice in it. Oh, 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 oh. So we can put the, the gasoline in this? Right? I fill the compressor with gasoline. Okay, here goes nothing. Look at that. It's already on. What has that achieved? Washing machine? Power is now on. Let's see. Shit, there's something inside. It's a glove. Got scared for a minute. Okay, we have a glove. Dogs like gloves? Okay. I'm gonna use this glove for something. Shovel up the fucking fox's backside, maybe, and then we can use it as, like, a way of bartering with the, uh, with the dog. Or something like that. I guess that means we can't be bitten with it on? I don't fucking know. Well, well I guess we'll find out as we go. This is gonna be wrong or right, and then we can continue if it isn't. The glove already smells bloody. Hey girl, smell this glove. That's it. Come here. I guess she likes... She's gonna bite the glove. Who's a good girl? What? Your master is worried about you. You should go home. Good girl. You speak fluent English, don't you? Good girl. Alright, back to the cabin. Something bad's gonna happen on the way back. Probably... Kill a deer. Kill a fox. Oh, of course. Or, or, or a fucking elephant. I can't get back this way. What the hell was this all about? The elephant wants to kill you. The elephant doesn't want you to be successful in business. Oh, okay. You found her. Thanks, kid. I signed the papers. You can find her inside. I will leave immediately. Feels easier that way. Farewell, sir. See, that wasn't that bad. We weren't that much of a dick or anything there, were we? Okay, I better get the papers. Hi, guys. How's it going? Son! Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. McDade, Bruton, and more. Another job well done. Well done. Well done. Though you're getting soft. 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 Doing him a favor by finding his lousy mutts. You seem like a vet. Nonsense. 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 You just kicked his worthless ass. Worthless ass. Worthless ass. Next time you just remain strict. 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 I understand. Do you now? You wouldn't want to make us regret choosing you. No, sirs. That's the spirit. Thank you for this opportunity, sirs. That reminds me. Something of great importance. 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 What's that? We have yet to see you dance, son. Uh-oh. Now dance, son! Y yes sir! What the fuck is going on? Yes! That's our boy! Yeah! Now faster! Oh, we're really shaking our fucking thing with the creepy music playing. I guess this is like a requirement at this 
law firm? I don't even know, they're a law firm, I guess? They look like a fucking law firm, they got the scales and shit. But why is a law firm evicting people? That doesn't really make fucking sense! Unless they're just clients of the law firm, I guess? I don't fucking know. I don't, I don't fully understand, but it's still pretty good. Hope you enjoyed this initial episode of Distraint, guys. If you did, hit that like button, there'll be another episode, which I believe will be the final one to come pretty shortly. And that will be this little horror adventure. I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments so far. And I'll uh, see you really soon. Have a great day, guys. Bye for fucking now.